There's a couple ways you can go about customizing the ribbon. Like for example, if you want to hide the ribbon because you want to be able to have more viewing space for your document, you can do it quite a few ways. You can either come up here and double click on one of the tabs really fast, double click. It does a hide so you can work on your document and be able to view more of your document. So if you want to be able to bring it back up temporarily, then go ahead and click on the tab to see the ribbon, then go ahead and click on a command or click off and it will collapse again. And if you want to bring it back up permanently so it doesn't collapse, then go ahead and double click really fast on a tab and it's back up. So when you click off, it doesn't disappear. You can do it that way or you can use the shortcut keys, Control F1 and it collapses. Control F1 again brings it back up or you can come up here and click on the ribbon display options and you get three options, the least of which is the current option that is selected. You can see it's highlighted. It shows the ribbon tabs and commands all at the same time. Or you can just view the tabs. Again, we did that by double clicking really fast on the tab or Control F1. You can also click it here, it does the same thing. Bring it back, Control F1. And if I click on it again, the final option is to do a complete hide. So when you click on it, it's gone. But you can bring it back by clicking on its little three build ellipsis button. And in fact, you don't even have to come over here to click on it to bring it back. When I click off of it, it hides again. You can just come up here and go to the top. And you can see when you get close to the top, you get that thin blue bar. Click on it and it brings it back up temporarily. So when you click on a command or click off of it, it hides it again. Or until you come back up here, click on the button or anywhere on the top when you get that blue bar and then come back to the ribbon display options, click on that, and say you want it back to the way it was by showing both tabs and commands, and there we go. Now, if you want to customize the ribbon in the sense that you want to be able to add an extra tab with your own commands to it, or maybe just add commands in addition to the home tab in your own group, go ahead and right click anywhere on the ribbon and say you want to customize the ribbon. And you can see I got a list of commands over to the left hand side, just as we saw in the previous training video on customizing the quick access toolbar. Now we're customizing the ribbon. You can see all the tabs that are displayed here are checked except for the developer. So when I check that and click okie dokie, there's the developer tab. So by default it's not displayed, but later on if you need to use it, which we will in later training videos, then you want to go ahead and right click and customize the ribbon and check that box. I'll go ahead and uncheck that. And then you've got the Home tab, which is the default tab here when you open up Word. You can see you've got a list of the groups on that tab. If you want to go ahead and customize it, well, guess what? Let me go ahead and expand it. You see how the commands there are faded? When you go ahead and select one, you can't remove it. When you go ahead and try to add a command with the clipboard group selected and click on Add, it says that commands need to be added to custom groups. So the defaults here you can't mess with. But if you want to go ahead and add your own group to the Home tab, then you can go ahead and add commands to that. So to add a group to the Home tab, just come down here and click on New Group. There's the new group there. With it selected, you can go ahead and click Rename and give it a new name and call it My Spiffy Group because everything we do here at Dreamforce is spiffy. And you got up here a symbol that will represent that group. So as you recall in the previous training video, when you right clicked in a blank area on the group to add it to the quick access toolbar, there was an icon from that group that represented that group. So go ahead and choose one that represents it like a happy face and then click OK. So there's the group here on the home tab. Now with it selected, let's come over here and select a command and click add. And you can try to double click, but that's not going to work. Not when it comes to customizing the ribbon, adding commands to it. So we have to use the add button. And then just go ahead and add a few just so we got something to look at. And then before we go ahead and click OK, how about if we go ahead and select a group here like the font group and remove it and the paragraph group, remove it and the styles group, remove it. So we're really narrowing down our home tab to just a few groups here. Let's do the editing, remove that. And now that we butchered the home tab with just two groups, how about if we add a new tab, click on new, and go ahead and select the tab here and say we want to rename it. Call it the popular tab because, you know, that's all my popular commands are on that so I don't have to zip around all over these tabs or have a long list up here on the quick access toolbar. I can just stay on one tab with my popular commands. So click OK. And we've got one group here. You can add another group or as many groups as you want. Go ahead and select it, rename it, 
and call it go ahead and select an icon to represent that group if you add it to the quick access toolbar like the microphone for groupies and then how about groupies 2 rename and go ahead and rename it call it groupies 2 and we can have the butterfly and click okie dokie and then add some commands with it selected like grow font add be this one draw a table just adding a few so you can see what it looks like after I click okie dokie and in fact let's go ahead and deselect like the review the view tab because you can see the review and view tabs are there but when I click OK they'll be gone and then we'll have our home tab with just two groups and then we'll have our popular tab here with two groups as well so let's go ahead and take a look a gander as it were okie dokie whoo that home tab sure was cut back we've got our original clipboard group and then we have my spiffy group and then we created a new tab that was called popular and it's right there so if I wanted to be able to have popular not the second tab but maybe the home tab you can go ahead and give it a right click and customize the ribbon and go ahead and use your up or down arrows to say that the popular will now be the first tab and click okie dokie and there we go popular then the home tab and then as you recall when you right click to add one group or right click in a blank area of the group to add that to the quick access toolbar we chose an image to represent that group so when I add it it's a happy face and then for the popular tab groupies one when I right click was the microphone when I add it to the quick access toolbar there we go click on it there's the command click on happy face that represents that group and then grow font add it it's the butterfly Ooh, that's fancy and of course you can go ahead and right click to remove those from the quick access toolbar and you can right click to customize the ribbon again and you'll notice that you got blog posts and other tabs here that are checked but aren't being displayed yet that means when you actually execute a feature or working on something there'll be contextual related tabs that are available that will pop up when we're ready to use them and so if we don't want them available when we start working with those other features in Word then you can go ahead and of course uncheck it and then if you really made a butchery like I did of my ribbon I'm like help restore restore then come down here and click on reset and reset all customizations or if you just want to reset the home tab then select the home tab and click reset and then you get the first option to reset only the selected tab click okie dokie and then click OK and then go to the home tab all the groups are back to where they were we don't have the additional group but we still have our other one the popular tab so if I right click again customize the ribbon and I say no you know what let's just do all of it and click yes it does everything not only does it do the ribbon but when I click OK it also updates my quick access toolbar where I have the save as and the open commands if you rewind the video you'll see it there those are gone too so it went back to the original state of the ribbon and the quick access toolbar thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.